But Chris and I talked about it the other day, the difference between you, you get those own goals because you're putting balls in dangerous areas. Exactly. exactly. So they win 5-0. Now, that like, crushed Slovakia. They are in the third place in that group, but that goal difference got destroyed. Spain, on the other hand, feeling pretty good. So let's get to Spain right now. Bring in Luis uh, Garcia, former Spanish international. Luis, first and foremost, I mean, 5-0. you got to like the result. What did you think of the performance? Well, actually, today we can be very happy. Of course, I think the performance was uh, fantastic uh, in, the, in the line of the first 45 minutes of the first game, but a lot more clinical at front. I think that also, guys, you were mentioning uh, the bringing players with the leadership was something that people was asking, and I think Luis Enrique, I think it was spot on on this. Bringing Busquets, Aspiricueta, players who know how to deal with this kind of situation, with dealing with the pressure of uh, the, the they're going to feel into the game like this one. Of course, with, with, with Busquets in the middle, you're going to have a lot of faster balls and movement from one side to the other side where faster. And we mentioned as well about Sarabia. Sarabia into, the, into these kind of games is a key player because he's going to try 1v1s in the one side. Also, he's a player who smells goals. So at the end, it was about try to get that confidence back to the players up front. And well, five goals, are gonna, I think they are going to have a little bit for the next round. Yeah, they take Croatia on in the next round, in the round of 16, uh, Luis. But you mentioned in the pregame show, obviously, the pressure the players are feeling, the, the, the vibe around Spain. Getting those five goals, how much does that help to release the pressure that, that, that was built up over the last week and a half, two weeks? So much. I, I can tell you that at the end, there are a lot of young players who are feeling that kind of pressure. The whole nation is looking at you. You know that everybody's counting on you. And the first couple of games, even though that I think that they were playing well, and it, it was something missing, and I think there were the goals, of course. And, well, today, five goals against probably a, a poor uh, Slovakia. We were expecting a little bit more of, co of consistency on that Slovakia defense. But I think in the uh, side of Spain, it's about that. Try to uh, uh, score a few goals, get confidence, and, well, get to the next round with that feeling because it's very important when you're going to face a, a team that is going to be a lot, a lot more difficult than Slovakia. No doubt about that. Croatia up next, as we mentioned. Luis, thank you so much, and enjoy the win. Thank you very much. And here's how Group E finished, as we talked about before. Sweden atop the group with seven points. They will take on a third-place finisher uh, in their round of 16 match. Spain takes on Croatia. They finished in second. And Slovakia, who are in good position to go through as one of the four third-place qualifiers, that goal difference ain't going to get it done. Minus five now. They're not going to go through. As you see, they've been eliminated. They cannot pass Finland. Now, Portugal is still playing. They're the one team left to play in this group, and they have a plus-one goal difference. They play France. If they get beat up, this thing could change around. If not, we shall see. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.